Hello and welcome to this video. Okay, so welcome into the dashboard. As you enter the dashboard for the very first time, you're gonna see this prompt pop up, okay? It's gonna ask you to actually get your API key and to actually provide it in to the fields like so. So I'm just gonna close this for just a moment. So what we need to do, we need to go into the AI settings, okay? You can do that on that page, that on the prompt, but I wanna come here to the AI settings and actually walk you through here. It's a bit more uh, nicely displayed. So I wanna go here to the section where it says add new AI key, and it'll give me some information. So to use the AI features within click sites, you're gonna need to add an API key and you can use it from your pref a preferred AI provider and both you can get for free. They do have a free tier system, but we do recommend that you do actually add your details and you can even top it up by, you know, five bucks or something just to avoid any interruptions in service. So what we need to do for the first instance, let's go for the Google Gemini API provider for the key. Simply select this link like so. And it'll bring up the Google AI Studio. So as long as your Google account is completely free to get this as a free tier, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and select create API key. Uh, let's create the API key in the existing project. You'll see it just simply create API key will be the same system like so. So straight away it's giving me this key right like right here. I simply copy, I revert back to ClickSites AI. I identify all it is, is you just got to put a name just to make sure you know what it's for. So let's just do Google Keys. Okay. And then I paste my API key like so that I've just taken from Okay, the Google AI Studio, like so. Come back, let's just save that there. Refresh, and just like that, you can see now the key has been added here, okay? And it's gonna be set as the default key. Now next, uh, we do have another option to actually uh, add OpenAI. So we're gonna select OpenAI like so, but just actually, just before we go to OpenAI, I would recommend if you just come back, so say for example, this is the key that's been added, if you simply go ahead and select setup billing, uh, this is ideally where you just add your information here. Okay, you can link your billing account or manage billing accounts, but ideally you want to link it just uh, to have it there just to avoid any interruptions in service if an issue arises. Okay, secondly, if we come back, we go to the AI provider. Let's go for the open AI key. Now, in order to get this key, it's the same process, uh, but you can see as I've changed it, that link has now changed. Okay, so now open AI has given me a new URL that I can visit. So if I select, so you could actually choose one key or another. They're both, you know, um, AI keys that you can use. They're both as good as each other, but it's always best sometimes just to add those two. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead, select create new secret key. Let's just call it um, open AI keys. Uh, keep permissions is all, create secret key. And there you go, that's the key that's been created. So next I would simply do is copy. Okay, so you can make a note of that. As let's just jump straight back into ClickSites AI. So let's just do open AI keys. Uh, paste that there and we'll go ahead and save key. Okay, so you can see that has now been added here uh, with the open AI key. And you'll see a choice. You can actually have one as a default uh, than the other, but in this regard, it's fine just to keep that as a Gemini default key. However, uh, if we just jump straight back into OpenAI, let me just show you something as well. So if you go to usage, uh, one thing we would recommend uh, when it comes to usage, you can see uh, there's a limit about $5 there. So in order to adjust that, let's just go to settings and you'll see billing. So just uh, come to billing, you can add your payment details and you can just put five bucks in there, okay? Just to avoid any interruptions. Um, so you have no issues whatsoever. However, typically they are free tier systems, but I we recommend uh, to add your billing details and set up auto top up to ensure uninterrupted services, okay? So apart from that, uh, once you've done that, once you've actually inserted those keys, you are now able to continue. Okay, step number two, let's go ahead and select add workspace. This is how you would create it. Once you've done that, simply go to workspace. Uh, we'll select add workspace and we're gonna follow these steps, okay? So first it's gonna ask you for assign a name to the particular workspace. So let's just say 
demo workspace okay and then the company name so you put your company name here let's see and then a subdomain name so you can see there is some uh, written text here that will make it will kind of allow you to visually see how it's going to look if you're using click sites pages okay or click sites ai this the subdomain name so essentially the subdomain name will be um the domain name that will appear okay the text here that will appear just before using click sites ai's domain name and then it'll show you you know the slug or the extension at the end of the domain name so you can keep this very simple you can keep this as as is if you want you know that's something you can use uh let's just keep this as uh, demo um let's call this demo here okay and once you go ahead you can simply select save and you are ready to go now in terms of doing a custom domain name, there will be another tutorial specifically how you can set that up so if you want to learn more about how to set up a custom domain name you can go watch that tutorial on how you can do that you can always come back and update it and with the tutorial on that it will actually show you however let's go ahead and select ok so remember the name is a demo workspace i select ok it'll refresh and then what i want to do let me scroll down to the list and you can see now the demo workspace has now been created okay so now we'll go to the next step, step number three, uh, to go ahead and create a page, okay, using AI. Let's go ahead and create from AI, and then it will allow you to communicate with the chatbot, okay? So once you select create with AI, you can see, let's just put name as a workspace. Okay, so now what I'm going to be doing creating the website, I'm going to be working alongside the ClickSites AI chatbot. Okay, and you will see a very nice uh, presented kind of set of prompts. So here you go. Hey, I'm your AI design partner. Let's create a beautiful website, um, professional website for you. So it's now going to ask me what type of business um, am I building. And what I'll see, I'll simply go over across this, select your business or type or uh, enter a custom name. So here's a beautiful uh, drop down of different businesses, accounting, acupuncture, audio editing, beauty, bike mechanic, bookkeeping, cafe, car detailing, and the list goes on. So if your industry may not be there, then you can actually enter it manually and type it in there. And uh, it's as simple as that. So for the purposes of this demonstration, uh, let's go ahead and do coffee shop. I simply select coffee shop and you can see now the chatbot uh, will ask me what is the name of your coffee shop let's just type in um coffee okay let's type in um coffee mania okay let's just do coffee mania now the next question will ask me what do you, what do you want this site to be about so let's just say it's going to be about coffee products and services right services and i've got a choice also to select uh, a different language opposed to uh, English which is going to be my native speaking uh, language however if I want to kind of reach a global audience uh, or make my website in a language that may cater for a different um, you know uh, individual then that is something I can do so I've got now the the ability to actually reach a global marketplace if I so desire uh, without being constricted to one particular language um, but for the purpose of this let's stick with English select and it's now going to think about some outline for uh, my coffee shop. Now, one thing you will probably notice that it, working with a chatbot is very, very fast, um, and you know there, there's no sitting around or waiting around. Now, in 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 that short moment, it's come back with a set of uh, outlines here. We've got head about us page, top 10 coffee products, exploring the best coffee services, uh, coffee accessory services, gallery testimonials, and call to action. So. All of these uh, elements here, the suggestions, I can actually use as is and I can fire away. Or I actually have the ability, if I want, I can trim them down, I can add to, um, and I can sculpt it any way, shape, or form that I want. Now, uh, if I just wanted to add something, I'll simply just add something to the drop down. So, uh, what would I do to uh, add? I could say, you know, how uh, creating the perfect coffee blend coffee yeah let's just put that in there okay simply select next and now uh click sites ai will go off and start building uh that for me in the sense of just getting all the structure together 
And then the next step will be is actually getting a designated template for the website. Okay, so now it's at 100%. Uh, Let's go ahead and select a theme for the coffee shop. And there's going to be a nice variety of different templates I can choose from. Okay, scroll down. You can see there's a different variety of templates um, I can choose from. However, for the purpose of this, let's stick to one template. Let's keep it nice and simple. Let's go ahead and select this one. Oh, this one's got a nice image there as well. But everything can be changed, but I guess that's me being a little bit, um, being a bit of a perfectionist, but that's fine. Let's go ahead and select that one. And now it will start building out that website with uh, that template. So as you see uh, before your very eyes, you can see how fast it's rapidly putting together that website where the AI is working overtime. Uh, well, all in its stride and it's starting to build out the site for me. So all I have to do is just allow it to do its thing, start building it up. And I mean, if you were to do this manually, it'd probably take you probably a couple of days, if not a couple of weeks, especially if you're coding, you're adding content, doing the copyright and finding the imagery uh, for it. Uh, there, there's a lot that does go in. But however, with ClickSize AI, as you'll, you'll, you'll find out yourself, it is very rapid in building a site that's tailor-made especially um, that's very congruent to exactly what you're looking for so as that's building out what I will eventually do as you can see um, if I just draw your attention we'll have you know we've got the home uh, tab there you'll put your name your company name you've got the portfolio about uh, you've got links uh, it's starting to build the gallery now what I would do in this instance in order to edit it, if I draw your attention, you've got the editing tab here. I'll select it. 